and our sisters, we, we must change our dress code. Our men must change our dress code. Because when the men get, get set in order, guess what? The women and kids be in order. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now I said the woman, our sisters, we should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what pertain unto men that women wear? What pertain unto men that women wear? Y'all got, got it? Jeans, yeah. Pants. Women should not wear pants. That's right. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So all that do so, women wearing pants and men wearing dresses, is abomination unto the Most High God. That's right. That's abomination. But what we gotta do? We out here to show you the sin that you're going into, for you can forgive you for those sins. Right. And save a multitude of sins. Right. We gotta come back and start loving God the way y'all supposed to be loving God. Right. Right. So women, like the tights y'all have on right now, this go up under your dresses. What? Your modest dresses with the fringe on, with the border of blue. Because the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Right. What? And we don't want to get caught up not keeping this commandment go. We, we, will, we will be put to death. What? We will be put to death. That's why we out here. That's why we out here. So you got to you gotta fly yourself. You got to fly our numbers on the fire. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night to repent and come back to God, laws and statutes and commandments. That's right. And win, sis. That's how you win. Right. By keeping God's commandments. That's how you win. That's how all y'all, y'all of y'all win. Now give me James 5 and 20. Watch this. Get out. James chapter 5 and verse 20. Now we must come back. We must come back to God's commandments. That's what's going to save us. Right. That's why God set his face against us to, uh, to afflict us. And then our, our affliction, we will be seeking him early. Three. James, chapter 5 and verse 20. Let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. So that's what the word of God trying to show y'all tonight. We, ju we just messengers. That's all we hear. We reading the word of God. This is not our word. So the word of God is teaching you, trying to win your soul what? From a burning hell. That's, that's, that's why we out here. But it's the trumpet of the Lord. Oh, give me that Amos, Amos 3 and 6. Watch this, Amos 3 and 6. Because we come, we come out here every single week. Every week we out here to do what? To save your soul, to save your soul. That's why we here. We put ourselves on the line to save our people. Right. Because we love our people. That's right. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Guess what? This Bible, this Bible is the trumpet. We saying the so-called blast in the Spanish Native American audience. It's lights. And guess what? The other nation is, they scared right now. Right. right. If we raise up, they know we keep God's commandments. They kingdom going to fall. Yes, right. They kingdom going to fall. And our kingdom going to last forever. Right. Right. Read. Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord has not done it? So the most like God put his evil in the city. To do what? To affect us. To get our mind back on him. Right. That's why we are here. That's why we are here. So we must keep the laws, the statutes, and commandments of the Most High God and make it to the kingdom of heaven. What? Now, what if I ask you your nationality? What's your nationality? What's your nationality, according to the Bible? According to this right here. Come over here. What's your name, bro? My name's him. Can y'all let him know what his nationality is? Say it pride. Say it pride, sis. That's, 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 right. that's what you is. That's right. From what tribe? What tribe are you from? This right, this right here is what God called us, and this over here is what we call the slavery. So you find, feel like any um job application? What, what you put down over here? American black. 
So he's from the mighty tribe of Judah. That's what? right. The same tribe Jesus the Christ, the bright Messiah, came from. What? When we were going over, we were going over. Have you seen the thing that went over at the capital? Yeah. You know that prophesied in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Second Ezra, Second Ezra 16 and 15, right? 15, 16. 15, 16. Watch this. It prophesied in the Bible that those things are going to happen. What? But why, 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 why does it happen? What's our God with us? He wants us to repent and keep his commandments. That's what he wants us to do. And that's why we got here to show you the sin that you in to get right, right with the Most High God. Let's read that. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They're doing what? Invading one another. What they were doing in uh, the capital in DC? They were doing what? Invading one another. That's right. They were going back and forth with one another. That's Bible right. prophecy. Right. After you finish this, give me uh, Matthew 24 and start at 7. Let's finish this first. Read. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. What they were doing? The king and their princes, they were fighting each other. They were fighting each other. Bible prophecy. What? Bible prophecy. It's a beautiful thing right here. For us, right here, the so-called blessing Spanish Native American, we gotta gather ourselves together right. and keep God's commandments. That's what the Most High God is trying to show us. Read. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Shall stand in their power. Stand in their power. We must come back. Most High God is showing us these things. Showing us these prophecies. The Bible is our book. That's right. The Bible is our book. We must come back as an Israelite. We're not black. We're not African American. Right. That's right. That what the so-called white man gave us. We're not no things. We're the child of the living God. That's the right. one that created the heavens and the earth. That's right. That's who we are. Read. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nations. So the Bible said nations are going to rise against nations. We're seeing that right now. At, at, at the capital. We're seeing that right now. Read. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. Look, it's saying the same thing. Same thing. Read. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. It's going to be famines. Famines. They had to shut uh, a, st a store down. You remember on Tyson's chicken? They shut it down. We were low, we were low on beef. We were low on chicken. And guess what? Those days are coming. The famine is coming to America. What? The pestilence, the COVID-19. How many, how, how many people, how many people got put to death due to the COVID-19? They said you're going to have a pestilence. COVID-19 is a pestilence. Thousands, thousands of our people got put to death with the COVID-19. And now they came up with a vaccine less than what? I say seven months. They're trying, to, they're trying to put us to death. They're trying to do what? What they call? They're trying to all uh, control the what? Population control. Right, right, right. That's right. That's what the enemy trying to do to us. We got to come back, bro. We got to keep God's commandments. We got to wear fringes. These fringes right here remind us of most High God's commandments. That's right. You're an Israelite. Y'all are Israelites. Right. Thus says the Lord. That's right. Read. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then... Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations. Now, this is talking about when you come in to serve the Most High God, when you come in, start keeping your commandments, start keeping the Sabbath day, start wearing your freedom, start keeping the high holy days. Then the other nations will start hating you. What? They're going to try to come at you, but you can stop doing God's commandments, and they're going to bring you uh, in prison. In everything like that. Y'all heard of Christ, right? What, what happened to Christ? How you got put together? Get up. You know, you, you familiar with Christ? How you got put together? You got hung on hung on the cross. And who did that? Say it again. His own people. That's what? Right. His own people. Old people came against him. 
same thing gonna happen to us the ones that keep the God's commandments. Right? That's right. So that's why it's very, very important to keep these laws and statutes and commandments. Right. So y'all can start living again. Let's read it again. Start at with um, seven. Read. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. Yep. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Oh yeah, the earthquakes. And the earthquakes. It was an earthquake not too long ago. I think it was in Atlanta. A little small earthquake. They just had an earthquake across seas that killed some people. These are the things that they call Christ trying to tell us what's going to happen in the last days. Right. Now it's time for us to get right now. It's time for us to come back now. What? To God's commandments. It's time. It's time to wake up out of our deep sleep. Give me that. In Romans. Not Romans. Yeah, Romans 13 and 11. Romans 13 and 11. It's time. Because he called each and every last one of y'all tonight. But this is not our word. This is the word of the most high God. Calling y'all to repentance. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than we believe now. We see the power of prophecy coming before our eyes. It's time to wake up. Stop calling each other black. Stop calling each other African American. You are God's chosen people. That's what you are. And we must come together. How you doing, sis? You know your nationality? find out. All praises. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we the Israelites are going to the Bible. That's right. Being the Israelite, we must keep the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of the Most High God. In order to come, uh, to come to the kingdom of heaven. And you see all these pestilence going on, the COVID-19, um, all the wars, um, other nations against all nations, same nation against each other. The Bible prophesied about that. Most High God trying to wake us up. He trying to wake us up to come back to his law, statutes, and commandments. And that's, and that's what we're going over. That's what we're going over. Y'all got a flyer, right? Y'all been listening. Y'all been listening. I got a flyer. We got one. Thank you so much. Wait, wait. check that flyer out. Y'all invited oh. to the school this Sabbath. This Sabbath. Every Sabbath. Every Sabbath. Y'all gonna be out here every Sabbath? Yeah, we be out here every Sabbath. I'm in a hurry today. I definitely want to come back and listen some more. But he did give me the flyer. And I'm gonna okay, check the flyer. Yeah, I have somebody. Okay, all praise Definitely because we don't know when the most high God gonna crack the sky up. Right. When Christ come back, we don't know. That's right. But we can't let we can't um give me um Acts 319. This is what we gotta do before Christ comes back. We gotta give you this command. Let me get you this script right here. This is what we gotta do right here. Read. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's what we got to do before he comes. We got to repent and be converted. What converts us? The commandments of the Most High God. That what converts us. So we must, must do this. It's very, very important to keep us clean. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us a spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.